Hello girls, let's talk about the quadratic equation. A few concepts around the quadratic equation. So, okay, so you know how to solve the quadratic equation. Okay, so. What is the general form of a quadratic equation? General form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus bx plus c. Is this a quadratic equation? No. Straight equal away. Zero. Okay, if you don't no. see any equal symbol, that is not an equation at all. Mm -hmm. Okay? Any equation should have an equal symbol. Okay? What is this called then? It is. What is this called then? It's a quadratic expression. And, and, it's an expression, yeah, quadratic expression. Okay, an expression is something that which uh, is something that it has one term or more than one term. In this case, we have a three terms. So this is one term, this is another term, this is another term. This is a quadratic expression. So if I put equal to zero, then it is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation is in this form. It should be in this form. Okay, should be in this form. Even if it is not in this form, and you have to see if you can convert this into this form. Okay. Okay, before I go to that, various uh, forms of quadratic equation where A is a constant, B is a constant, and C is a constant. Some constant, some numbers. Okay, X is a variable. In this case, I have taken variable as X. You can also take a variable as a Y, T, y, no. something like that. Say, for example, A, T squared plus B, T minus C is equal to 0. This is also a quadratic equation. Okay. Okay, the symbols does not matter. It can be plus or minus anything does not matter. Okay, this is also a quadratic equation form. In this case, what is the variable t? Okay, by looking at it, you should be able to tell. Okay, if you have some variable here, 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 then uh, in this case, the t is a variable. Okay, all right. Yeah. So x square plus b x plus c, where b and c are constants. That is one thing. Constants for a given expression, for a given equation, A, B, C are constants. And also, other condition is that A should not be 0. If A becomes 0, the whole terms becomes 0. Then it becomes a linear equation. You are left with only this part. Then this is a linear equation. Okay? Linear equation is different from a quadratic equation. Linear equation, we have only one solution. One mm. solution. Whereas a quadratic equation, we have two mm. solutions. Okay? For example, 3x plus 2. Is this a quadratic equation? No. No. This is a linear equation. If you solve it, you will get x is equal to minus 2 by 3. This is only one solution. Mm -hmm. Okay? Only this value of x is going to satisfy this equation. Okay? This is not a quadratic equation. Okay, 2x square is equal to 3x. Is this a quadratic equation? Uh, yeah, yeah. It is a quadratic equation. Okay, mm -hmm. though this is not exactly in this form, there is a possibility that you can convert this into this form. Yeah. Let's convert it to 2x square. How, how are you going Minus to convert 3X. it? Okay, okay. Let's compare it with this equation. What is A here corresponds to 2? Two. Two. What is B? Minus 3. Minus, minus 3. What is C? 0. Zero. Zero. Like that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the equation can be given like this, but this is also a quadratic equation, okay. But you must see x square term somewhere, somewhere, okay. There is also crazy ways of uh, representing a quadratic equation. For example, you look at this equation, look at this equation x plus 1 by x plus 2 is equal to 0. Is this a quadratic equation? Yes. yes, it is a quadratic equation. Though you don't see x square directly, you, you, can, you can simplify it. But one thing, in, in the simplification, one thing you have to ensure, when you're doing a simplification, one thing you have to ensure is that there should not be any denominator. Here, is there any de denominator here? That is one thing. One, one, one is a denominator. Other than one, it should not, there should not exactly be any, any denominator. Okay. Mm. Second thing. There should be in this in the process of simplification. After simplification, you should see a zero on the right hand side. Okay, we have a zero that is met, that condition is met. 
But there is a denominator. There is no x square here. There is a denominator here. So you have to simplify it. Mm -hmm. When you simplify it, you will get x square x here. LCM is x. And how are you going to simplify it? Rishni, tell me. X plus hmm? X. So X by one plus one by X. Hmm. Okay. X yeah. squared. X, X squared. squared. Okay. Plus hmm. plus one, one plus two hmm. um, X. Two X. Two X. Two X. Yeah. Is equal to zero. How can we further simplify it? That um, I said right hand X, side X, should X, be zero. Y, and also there should not be any denominator. You can bring yeah, x, to the, x to the other side. If you bring x to the other side, 2x is equal to 0. x yeah. into 0. 0. zero. So is this a quadratic equation form? Yes. It is a form. Of course, you can rearrange the terms. Yeah. Okay. Normal, normally, the way we express is high, higher order terms, we will keep it first. And then the next higher order terms yeah. like that. Order should decrease. What is order here? What is order in this one? Oh, that's 2. Good. Order is yeah. the power two. two. What is the next one? One. one. So which and one is having the order one? Two. Two, two, two x. x. Are you able to follow me? Yeah. What is the order of this term? One. 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 Why? Because that's there's no power. So we'll because the power is one. Let's not say there's no power. Yeah. The power is one. And plus then one. plus one is then equal to zero. What is the order here? Zero. 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 You can also consider this as 1 into x to the power of 0. zero. Yeah. Okay, so you got a quadratic equation. So, an equation is given like this. If you are asked to solve this equation, you have to convert this one into quadratic equation form first. Okay, there are few steps involved. This is one step, this is second step, this is third step. There are few steps you have to do. Okay, straight away don't tell that it is not a quadratic equation or don't try to take 2 to the other side or 1 by x to the other side. You will not go anywhere. You will not go anywhere. Can you like first simplify the x terms like x plus 1 by x first and then add? There is no use. You can do that. But what is the use? Again, you are left with some denominator only. Yes. You are left with some denominator only. And then again, you have to do, you have to add it to 2. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, no? Yeah. So, not only this quadratic equation, any equation if it is given, ensure that there is no denominator. For example, I will tell you 3 plus 4 by x is equal to 0. Is this a quadratic equation? Okay, we don't know by looking at it whether it is a quadratic no, equation or not. not. We simplify not. it first. No. We know it is not a quadratic equation, but you simplify it. Then you'll come to know whether it is a quadratic equation or not. How do we simplify? Three by Th one. Principles. First, the right hand side should be zero. Mm -hmm. Second principle, there should not be any denominator. Three so, one. x is the denominator. Mm -hmm. So, 3x. Three 3x. Three Plus 4 is equal to 0. And the next yeah. step is 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay. Yeah. Now you can sense it. You can easily tell whether it is a quadratic equation yeah. or not. Yeah. This is not a quadratic quadrant. equation. It's a linear equation. Okay. Not only this holds good, this kind of simplification, not only for quadratic equation, even for linear equation, if you have to solve it, solve it this way. Yeah. Solve it this way. Okay. Sometimes it can be given x here yeah okay so then it becomes x squared square. x into x x square x square and that x square x square will come this side and that's a okay. x square minus x square plus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0 yeah equal to quadratic equation this is a quadratic equation okay like this you should not be confused whatever it is given you just follow the fundamentals principles principles and simplify it. While simplifying, ensure that you, at the end you get a zero. Mm -hmm. Without zero, you cannot solve it. Without zero on the right hand side, you cannot solve it. Mm -hmm. hmm? There should always be, there should always be zero. Yeah. Okay, on the right hand side, there, there should always be zero. All right. Okay. So this is a general quadratic equation form. Okay. So what is the quadratic equation form? Ax square plus bx plus c. A should not be zero. Okay. This is one thing. On the right hand side, there should be zero, and none of the terms should have a denominator. Yeah. 
Okay, one is the default denominator for any for any term. Okay, other than one, there should not be any other denominators. All right. Okay. So can b become zero? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It can be zero. Okay. For example, if it becomes zero, there won't be any x term. Yeah. Okay. If b becomes zero, the entire term gets becomes zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, p x square plus one is equal to zero. Is this a quadratic equation? It yes. is a quadratic yes. equation. Okay. Okay. First thing you have to determine whether it is a quadratic equation or not. Second thing. Whether you can solve it or not is the second part. Mm -hmm. Certain quadratic equations you can solve, certain quadratic equations you cannot solve. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case, can we solve? How do we solve this quadratic equation? Mm -hmm. Do you have to take something common? There is nothing to take common. No. Common holds good only if you have x square and x terms. In this um, case, there is nothing to take a common a square out. plus b square? a square plus b square. Wait, no. Yeah, okay. Is there any factors for a square plus b square? There are no factors. Okay. That is one way uh, so of interpreting it. Ink b as z is b as 0, yeah. 3x square is equal to to solve this kind of equation, plus 1, if you take it on the other side, it is minus yeah. 1. So, x square is equal to minus, minus 1 by 3. Three. x is equal to mm. square root of minus 1 by 3. But, but, but that's a negative yes. number. This is the square root of a negative uh, number, so which does not exist. Okay, This is not a real number. This is a complex number. Okay, So, for that reason, you can tell it does not have a real root. So does not have a real root. One thumb rule again entering. I taught many times in the past. One thumb rule. If there is only x square term and if there is a constant, the solution is possible only if they have a different signs. Yes. Plus the plus here. The same signs are there, if so there you is, cannot solve it. If there is 3x three 3x three squared minus 1 also. You can two. solve it. Yeah. If it is number 3x square. Minus 1, so I'm, I'm doing it the same thing here with the minus 3x square minus 1 is equal to 0. A square 3, minus B square. 3x square is equal to 1. Yeah, you can also tell a square minus b square. You can both ways you can do it. Or simply take it to the other side. x square is equal to 1 by 3. x is equal to square root of 1 by 3. Which exists. Okay? Plus our answer what, will be plus or minus. What if it's like 3x squared? Um, minus 3x squared plus 1 equals 0. Yeah. 3x squared plus 1. Minus 3x Yeah, that is also possible. Okay, so let's do that variant. Minus 3x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, you tell me now. How are we going to do this? No, one thing. Minus 3x squared equals yeah, 0. Okay. 0 minus 1. Yeah. Minus 3x squared equals minus 1. Mm. Next. Um... Ma x square minus equals minus 1 by minus, minus 3. Minus minus cancel. gets cancelled. Or, yeah. leave it like this, minus 1 by minus 3. Yeah, Here also minus minus right. gets cancelled. Yeah, okay. Okay, now x is equal to? Square root of 1, one, one by 3. Okay, put one more step. And then x is equal square to square root of 1 by 3. Okay, yeah, so this is a different see. variant. Here I put a minus. Okay, what is the conclusion here? You say with your own, in your own words. What is the conclusion by doing all of this? What did you realize? When it's when there is like, when there is positive sign two times, then you can't solve the mm. equation. You can't positive solve it. Positive signs. Not only that, you okay. should also tell there is no x term. Okay. Without an x term, mm. if an equation have both the same signs, yeah. not only positive signs. Yeah, if they have both signs, if x square term and the constant have both terms, both the solution is not possible. Yeah, the if they have a different terms, you can solve it using this method or this method. Okay, this is one method. Other method is also there. You can find it the factors. Let, let me do a that. Plus b times a minus b. Yeah, plus b. Okay, so how can we write in? This one, the given equation, how can you write as x square minus a square minus b square form? 3x plus 1 mm. 
No. 3x squared minus 1 squared. Hmm? Like you can write 1 as 1 squared. 1 squared, one yeah. Squared. Okay, so I'm writing another step. 3x squared minus, minus 1 squared one. is equal to 0. And then? And then a squared minus b squared. This is, yeah, what is a here? 3. 3 is a. No, 8, 3x. 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 If you square it, how much it becomes? 9x squared. 9x squared. Yeah, but you have to get 3x squared only. But you have to get 3x squared only here. Okay. Um, so square, square, a, a root it again. Square root it again, yeah. yeah. Put this one under square root then. Okay. x whole square. Minus 1. Minus 1 squared. This is exactly the same. This is not. If you square so it, the whole square, you will get a 3x squared. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm? And then now a squared minus a squared. A squared minus b squared form. Okay, square root of 3x plus 1, square root of 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, what are the next steps? You got the factors. When you get the factors, you have to equate them to 0. Equate them. Each, each of them equate them to 0. Square root of 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Square root of 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. What is the next step here? Square root of 3x is equal to minus 1 x equals minus 1 over minus uh, minus 1 by square root of 3 here mm, this one x over yeah. okay both are same this one and this one are same do you agree uh, yeah this uh, one and this one are same why mm. 1 by square root of 1 by root 3 or 1 by root 3 both are same Okay, when you say 1 by root 3, you will get a plus or minus for anything. Square root of 4, what is square root of 4? It is plus or minus 3. Okay, you can also say square root of 4 is a square root of plus or minus 4. Okay. They will be same. Are you able to follow or confusing me? Am I confusing you? Okay. Looking at the pattern, you should, you should strike to your mind what to do. Okay, this is not something you can solve it by taking out a common. That you have to realize, okay, there is no x term here. So, taking out common is not going to work here. Only way is either you first, first thing, see if they have the same symbols or not. If they have same symbols, you cannot solve it. If there is if minus 3x squared, minus 1 equals 0 also. Then also you cannot solve it. If they have a different symbols, you can solve it. How to solve it? There are two ways. One. You take out one term to the other side, mm -hmm. solve for x. Other thing is, convert this one into a, put this into a square minus b square form. This is a square minus b square form. Okay, there is a little trick you have to apply to convert this one into. You have to carefully see the coefficient. Mm -hmm. Carefully see the coefficient. If it is 9x square, you can say 3x whole square. Yeah. If it is 3x, you have to square root that one. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let me give you one more example. So let's focus only in this format for a couple of uh, sums. Let's do it. That are in this format. Okay. Five x square minus nine is equal to zero. How do you solve it? Quick. Let's quick it. Quickly do it. Um. Which form you want to do? Which way you want to do it? A square minus b square. No, a square minus b square. Okay. 5x squared minus 3. First, no, 5 where is root? Yeah, root 5. Root 5. x. x. Whole squared. Whole squared. Minus 3. Squared. Square is equal to 0. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a preferred way. Okay, I would say this is preferred way because you will also learn how to factorize a square minus b squared. Hmm? Of course, this is also the simpler way, but uh, if you do it, you will also, along with uh, solving it, you will also learn. Uh, how to write a given expression in the form of a square minus b square, how to do yeah. factorization. You learn that concepts also. You'll get familiarized yourself. Okay. Good. Yeah. So next time, yes, a plus b into a minus b. What is a here? Root 5x. Root 5x plus 3, root 3. into root 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Equate each of them to 0. zero. Each of them to 0. And most important, you have to put r. Okay. Okay, otherwise your teacher is going to direct some marks. Okay.
it is not add it's you have to write or square root of 5x minus 3 is equal to 0 mm -hmm. that or you can continue here wherever you want till the end you can continue if you want better you continue okay it's not whether you want it or not but you continue x is equal to minus 3 by root 5 or you can put or here square root of 5x is equal to 3 x is equal to 3 by root 5 okay you have to practice it with your own hands then only it becomes well versed for you in exam okay otherwise you will miss out one step or the other step okay you have to practice it out the way i'm doing now you should literally practice with your own hands and then only you can do it okay this is how you have to solve it okay what is that by what did you realize by looking at it there is no x term first thing second thing there are different terms so the solution is possible proceed solution is possible proceed proceed solving it okay the method that you have chosen is convert this one into a square minus b square form okay therefore you solved it okay now one more of the same type where there is no b where there is no x star if there is no b means b is zero when b is zero the whole term becomes zero okay x square plus two is equal to zero so two will come Wait, a square plus b square. square plus b square. Uh, 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 and do. Uh, x yes. square plus root two. Okay, yeah. X square plus root two whole square. Okay, it's equal to zero. And then? A square plus b square. You can't solve it. You can't solve it. You can't solve it. Okay. By looking at it, you can tell. Okay. If you want to solve it, you can solve it. You can, you can put the steps. Yeah, you can put the steps. Take, take the two to the other side x is equal to square root of minus root 2 here you can write okay there is no solution exist there is no solution exist because square root of negative number is an imaginary number square root of it's a complex number negative number is i is a complex number Okay, you read out with your own voice. Yeah, read out this one. There is no solution exist because square root of negative number is a complex number. Is a complex number. One more time. There is no solution exist because square root of a negative number is a complex number. Complex number. Okay, so you you'll end up having a complex number roots, complex roots, if an equation is in this form. You will always end up because the symbol is same here and here both the symbols are same. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. So this also may have a complex roots. May have. This one also may have complex roots. How do you know if it is a complex root or not? By checking the sign. Oh no. No. By checking b square minus 4ac, oh, yeah. by checking b square minus 4ac, hmm? discriminant. Hmm? discriminant, discriminant, yeah, if it is negative number, you cannot solve it, yeah. okay, you, you first check b square minus 4ac, if it is negative number, you can write away, you can or, write there, or if it is 0 also, uh, we, we, we can, and so on, we can solve it. B square minus square is if it is zero because square root of zero is what? Zero. Yeah. There is no problem. So what is the B square minus four AC for this equation? Um what is B here? Zero. Two. Sorry. Zero. 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 Minus four. What is A here? One. One. What is C here? Two. Two. Okay. So what is the value of this one? Um zero minus Minus 4 times 2. Yeah, how much? Mm -hmm. Equal to ma minus, minus 8. Minus 8. Uh, and then? Minus 8. Okay. So, yeah, what is the so disturbance for you, see? Minus 8. Minus 8. So, so you can't solve it. We can't solve it, see? Yeah. Our theory is right. 
Our theory is p square minus 4 ac if it is less than 0, we cannot solve it. So it has become 0. It will always, you will always get 0. You will always get 0 because you are starting with 0 minus something. Mm. Yeah. You will always get 0. We, sorry, you will always get a negative number for something in this form. Mm. If you are having both the same symbols. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So what is this form? You tell me. The, the ones that we solved so far. What is what in what form are they in? Uh, AX square plus BX plus C is equal to zero, where B is zero. Yeah. Okay, where B so, is zero. So it's AX square plus C equals zero. AX square plus C is equal to zero. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. For such thing you have to look at the symbols. If they are having a different symbol, you can solve it. If they have same symbols, you cannot solve it. Again, 2x square minus 1 is equal to 0. Can you solve this one? No. no. You? We cannot no. solve. Okay. If you want to solve it, you try to put the steps down and at the end you write. You will get us, you will end up having x as square root of negative number. So let's do it quickly. Tell me the steps, next step to solve it. Um, a square minus b squared. Um... No, this is not a square minus b squared form. Minus 2x squared equals plus 1. x squared equals 1 over minus 2. Mm. And then square. square root of 1 by, one by minus 2. What? Square root of? 1 per minus 2. So the minus 2 you can keep it top? No? Yeah, minus 1 by 2. So it, is this a but real number? number. It is not a real number. It is a complex number. Okay. Then what are you going to write? The same statement. Tell me that statement. There is no solution exists because the square root of a negative number is a complex number. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. This is one form. The other form is, this is easier form, easiest form. Mm. The other form where there is no C, where there is no C, mm. yeah. 3x square plus 2x is equal to 0. Mm. Mm. This kind of things you have to take mm. out the common. That's the simplest way. Simplest way. Okay. What, how? What, which one are you going to take X. out? X. X is Three X plus two. Is equal to zero. Okay. Mm. Now, you equate this one to zero and this one to zero. X is zero. Or. Or. X is. Okay. So if you bring it down, these are the factors. X is uh, one factor. Three X plus two is one another factor. Okay, equal to zero. Mm -hmm. If you whenever you are equating each factor to zero, you have to introduce the R. Mm -hmm. Each factor to zero. This factor to zero. This factor to zero. In that case, you have to put R here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is one solution. The other solution is three x is equal to minus two. Mm -hmm. X is equal to minus two. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. There is no need for checking the symbols here. Whether they have a positive sign, negative sign, same signs, different signs, it will always work. Okay. Okay. Let's take the got minus 2x square plus 5x is equal to 0. What, is, what are we going to do? How are we going to solve it? X is common. Yeah, x is common. Okay. Minus 2x. x. Sorry. x. Uh, x minus 2x. Minus 2x plus 5. Plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, next step. x equals 0 or minus 2x plus 5. Or exactly. So, yeah. Is equal to 0. Next step. Um, minus 2x equals to minus 5. Okay. x equals minus 5. By uh, minus 2. That is equal to? Yeah, equal 5 by 2. 5 by 2. You can also put 2, 1 by 2. 0 or 2, 1 by 2. 2, 1 by 2. Hmm? That's all you have to do. So there is no need, like whether they have the same symbol. See here, they have the same symbol. See here, they have a different symbol. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are only three different varieties. One, B is 0. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll get one form of a quadratic equation. In this case, C is 0. We'll get another form of equation. 
The other form is the normal form where you have a A, B and C. All three exist. Okay, none of them are zero. Okay? You understand? Okay, now I will tell you. Without doing it, you should you should tell whether you will be able to solve it or not. Okay? Minus 3x square plus 5x is equal to 0. Can you solve this one? Yeah. Okay. What? What, what, what way are you going to solve it? You can take like x comma. Oh, very good, yeah, okay. So this one, can you solve it? Yes, no. What way? Yeah, yeah. We can solve it. A, a, a squared minus b squared. A squared minus b squared, yeah. Or you can bring oh, 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 five to the other side. Yeah, you can take it minus five to the other side, okay. And then, how about this one? Can you solve this one? You can't mm -hmm. solve it. Okay, because they both having the same symbols and there is no B here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you solve it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What are you going to take out common? Um, 2x. 2x. Exactly. That's important. Yeah. Okay. Even if you don't take out the com, the 2x as a common, mm -hmm. for example, here you get a 2x plus 6. Mm -hmm. Is it? So x is equal to 0 or 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 6 by 2. And then you can simplify. You can simplify it here. Here you have to simplify it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you do like 2x. If, if you take 2x as a common, see here. And x plus 3 is equal to 0. No. 2x is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0, yeah. x is equal to minus 3 here, yeah. mm, or uh, x is equal to 0. So you directly got a minus 3 here, because mm. you took out 2x as a common. Mm. Okay? Okay, can you solve this equation? Mm. Yeah, we can solve it because they have two different symbols. There is no B, yeah. they have two different symbols. Okay, just follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you solve this one? Yeah. Yeah, you can solve it. Can you solve? Can you solve this one? No. You can't solve it. Okay. Is this a quadratic equation? Yeah. Yes, it is a quadratic equation. Is this a quadratic equation? Yeah. It is a quadratic equation. Okay. Is this a quadratic equation? Yeah. It is a quadratic equation. Is this a quadratic equation? Yeah. You have to simplify it, but eventually you get it. Okay? Simplification. Two things you have to make sure. One, on the right hand side, you'll see zero. And there shouldn't be, there should be any denominator. Okay? So you take care of the, these two things and simplify it. You'll see what form, what quality equation it is. At times, you may not be able to see, tell immediately by looking at it. But if you follow the maths, if you follow the fundamentals of maths and simplify it, you will. You will come to know whether it is a quadratic equation or not. Okay. The, we talked about so many things, but the main quadratic equation form we forgot to discuss. Mm -hmm. That is, for example, 2x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. You know how to solve this one. This is a normal form of a quadratic equation, general form of quadratic equation, where we have a, b, and c. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are two methods. One is a perfect square method. Other one is a factorization method. Factorization method, first you multiply these two. Four, you figure out the multiples of it. Two, two, and then two, two, yeah. and then four, four and one, one, yeah. Okay. okay. And, uh, and then ma, ma, a, a, a minus two and ma, ma, minus two. Yeah, yeah. So and pick up a, a, one pair of factors so that when you add them, you will get this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is one drawback with that form. Why? What is that drawback? Tell me, Because if it if there there is no no if there are no no factors 
Is there no fuck factors? Yeah. If there are no factors, not like that. The factors are there, but if the factors are only if they're natural numbers. Yeah. Then only you'll come yeah. to know. For example, if the factors are 3.1 and then 2.8, it, it would be hard. It's difficult for you to predict such factors. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a drawback. So at your level exam, equations are always given such a way that they have some natural number oh, factors. Oh. So. Okay, numbers. Natural number factors. So. Okay. The other form of for, to solve such problem, we have a perfect square method. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect square method. The rules are minus b x is equal to plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Okay, this is called a discriminant. This will tell the characteristic, like the nature of this quadratic equation, whether the solution exists or not. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. If you are doing it, you just find out this value first. Mm -hmm. Okay? Why we have to find out the value first? Because if if that's like an eighteen number, then you Yeah, can you can decide the error only. You don't have to do everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, first you figure it out. Okay, you got a positive number. Then you put this in put this one directly into this equation. Hmm? Okay. Another thing, A should not be zero. If A becomes zero, what will happen? The whole thing becomes infinite. Infinite. Okay. Yeah, uh, if A becomes zero, what will happen here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it is a li li linear, linear equation. equation. That is not a quadratic equation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, yeah, it becomes a linear equation. Mm -hmm. Also, also, if A is a positive, you will see a graph something upward direction. Okay. If A is a negative, you will see a downward direction graph. If A is zero, it is a straight line. So that means it has infinite roots. Everywhere it is touching the x-axis. So the line is falling on the x-axis itself. Then A is zero. A is zero. If, it, if A is zero, that means everything is a solution. This is solution. This is solution. This is solution. This That's why there are many like, roots. I don't, it, it infinite solution. Infinite yeah. solutions. Okay. That is why A should not be zero. A should not be zero. If A should not be zero, then this is not a quadratic equation. It's a linear equation. Mm -hmm. Alright. What is discriminants for you see? Yeah, equal to D, D is What is that? D square minus 4 is zero. What is it called? Discriminant. Discriminant. Okay. What will happen if it becomes zero? Yeah, we it's, it's can be still right? so it's gonna so all, all of it. It becomes a straight line if A becomes zero. Okay. <coughs> what are the rules if it becomes zero? Um, it's the same. same. Hmm? It's no, no, no. It will be the same. Maybe it will. What be becomes zero? A become if A becomes zero. Hmm. No. Discriminants for A C becomes zero. Um. Then it will be. Square root of zero. No, square root of zero is zero. Mm. Yeah, it will be zero. Minus b by two a. Exactly. Minus b by two a. And whatever you said is also right. It is the same root. Oh, yeah. Okay, because there is because there is no square root. Why are we getting a two to, two roots? Because we have a plus or minus symbol here. Mm, yeah. Because we have a square root here. Mm. Because square root of any number is a, either it can be a positive number or a negative number. Mm. Because this whole thing has become zero, this is only the one root. Mm -hmm. Okay? It has two roots, but both roots are same. You should say tell that way. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't tell it has only one root. Tell if it two, has two roots. Two are same. But they become zero. But they both become same. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that b square minus 4 AC is mm -hmm. but zero. But if it only like the third Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you understand? Yeah. Okay. So, factorization, factor method, you know it, right? How to yeah. solve it? Yeah. This is not taught for you. Yeah. Complex square method was yeah. not taught for you, but I'm giving you extra information to you. Just keep that in mind. In case you're stuck, like you're not able to find out using this method, then yeah. find out the factors. With the factors, you can build that. Uh, yes. With this value of x, you can build that uh, factors. For example, we got uh, x as 2. 
you found out to excess 2 and excess minus 1. How do you build the factors for it? Mm, Using this complex like, like, method. Like, like, so, Mama, How do you build the factors? Minus 2 and then uh, okay. x plus 1. x minus 2 into x plus 1. This is a reverse engineering. You are going back from the answer to the question. Okay, so for example, some equation like this is given. You are not able to figure out the factors. Then you can do it this way in the rough. Find out the factors and then you come back from here. Yeah. Okay, so these are the ones you become some multiply uh, factors. Mm -hmm. Okay, so also I will tell you why. Two x plus one into two x plus one is equal to zero. So, is this a quadratic equation? Yeah, this also can be written like this. Yeah. Is this is, it, is this a quadratic equation? Same one. It is a quadratic equation. Okay, if you multiply it, you will get to know. Mm -hmm. uh, you will see x square term. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Now, what are the roots for this one? Two x plus one equals zero. And 2x or and two x plus one equals zero or two x plus one is equal to zero. Yeah. Okay. So x is oh, minus one by two or x is minus 1 by 2. Mm -hmm. So both roots have become same. Yeah, so, so oh, oh, that it will like tip, it will turn. Uh, 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 and then go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. You yeah, still remember that, yeah. Okay. Okay, so if both roots become same, what is the condition? Mm. We just spoke. Mm. Oh, 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 yeah, it should be Z. Zero b square minus 4 yeah, this should b become 0. Let's yeah. see if b square minus 4 this becomes 0 or not. Yeah. What is b here? B is mm. zero. You can't tell. Z you have to expand this. You have to expand it. 2x squared plus 4x squared plus 2ab. 2x squared plus 2ab. Or maybe this one or this one. Mm. What is 2ab? 4x. Plus this into this one. Four, four, four is B. B. No. Four. Yeah. Four is okay. B. Now let's find out the B square minus 4 AC for this one. B square minus 4 AC is what is B square? 16. 16. Minus 4. What is A? 4. 4. What is C? 1. one. one. So now we simplify 16. Um, zero. 16 minus 16. Okay. It's a, that is so interesting. Like if you know the factors, if you drill down, what is happening, why it is happening. Okay, okay. So you got the same roots. Immediately it should strike to your mind. Okay, basically minus four AC should become zero. Then only this is possible. To verify it, you can do it this way. Okay. So this is also can be asked like solve it. Hmm? This is also quadratic equation. There is no x square term, but looking at it, there is no x square term. But you, what is the thing? You simplify it. What is the form of simplification? Multiply it. How, how are you going to simplify it? Multiply it. 2 into 2x into 2x. What is that? Tell me. 4x squared. 4x squared. Plus? Plus 4x. 4x. How you got to 4x squared? Oh, simplify 2x. 2x plus 2x. 2x plus 1. 1 is equal to 0. So the next step? 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So this is the document A plus B whole square. A plus B into A plus B, what is it? A square plus B plus B. Yeah, that also will give the same thing. A square is 4x square, 2AB. 2 into 2x into 1. 4x. B square. B square is 1. All right, have, have we covered everything? Yeah. Different, what is the general form of multiplication? First thing, A should not be 0. On the right hand side, it should be 0. And there should not be any denominator. Even if it is given in the different forms, you try to simplify it. Okay, after simplification, see if B is 0 or C is 0. If C is 0, you can take out the factors. You can, you can common out. You can take common out if C is 0. Okay. If a B is 0, 
if B is zero, you need to look for the symbols. Only if they have different symbols, then only the solution is possible. If they have same symbol, solution is not possible. We'll end up having a complex yeah. root. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So these are different variants of a quadratic equation in ins and outs of a quadratic equation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Shut up. We'll leave it for today. Thanks. Bye.